Hi guys, just look at all this bright beauty. <sighs> Today we're going to work with one of our favorite materials, perler beads. We have a few videos on our channel about it, so you can check them out. But only after you watch this one till the end. It's gonna be so much fun. Right, Sammy. Since we got bored with all the board games in our house, we decided to make some new ones. Let's get started. Is that a frame? Why use the black color? It's a kind of outline for our game. This way we'll know where it begins and where it ends. And you're right, Sammy. Let's add some brightness to it. What's brighter than a rainbow, right? Here comes the orange piece. Come on, Sue, spill it. What game are we making? Well, it's gonna be a... No, 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 no. Let's make it interesting. Sherlock Sam will try to guess. And you will help me, right, guys? <laughs> okay, Grand Detective. Let me give you a hint, then. This craft has something in common with the crafts that we usually make for our ginger. Except... This one's not for a hamster. <laughs> hmm, maybe if I browse our channel, I'll have a clue. I'll be right back. I wonder why Sam always chooses something else over helping me. <laughs> hey, Sue, how's it going with our labyrinth? Ah, oh, you guessed it right. Well done, Sammy. What else did you expect from the greatest slime mind? To be honest, I was hoping that you'll help me with crafting. Say no more! I'm the thinker and the doer! And he's gone again. That's unbelievable, guys. I guess I better use some magic. Whoosh! Perfect. Now we need to make sure that our beads will hold together without a plastic base. For that, we need a piece of parchment paper to cover the whole thing like this. Now let's use the iron. But guys, be very careful working with it because it's really hot. We need to iron our beads this way. Under the high temperature, they will stick together. Are you ready to see what we got? This way, carefully, voila! Just perfect. Sorry that took me so long, Sue, but now I'm ready to show you what I've been doing. Bibbidi bobbidi subscribity. Well, what do you say, Sue? <gasps> Sammy, I'm taking my words back. Your help is just great. Guys, check this out. These are the walls for our labyrinth. Yeah, I know, and it wasn't that easy to make them, you know. But you nailed it. And basically, all we've left to do is to glue them to their places. Never rush working with the glue gun, guys. Here we go. Be careful, Sue. That construction's kind of fragile. Oh, phew, that was really close. And the last element. Okay, done. Do we already know who or what will travel through this labyrinth? This might work. Thank you. Okay, guys, are you ready to give our board game a test run? Let's roll. That was really fun! <laughs> but let's move to another very popular board game, Tic-Tac-Toe. Are you kidding me, Sue? What new could you possibly add to that? Well, the game guidelines stay the same. As well as the playing field. Up! But we could totally substitute the X's and O's with something more… relevant, so to say. Oh, let me take care of the game board, Susie. I'm pretty good at ironing when it comes to doing crafts. <laughs> In the meantime, guys, let's work on the characters for our game. Everybody knows Among Us game, right? So I thought, why don't we make those cute, colorful crewmates from Perler Beads? We'll use a lighter color right here to make the character look more dimensional this way. Actually, we've already made a couple of crafts slash games based on Among Us. Feel free to check out our channel to see those videos. Hey, Susie, have you decided on a... Uh... Oh! Holy cannoli! Is that a crew member? Did we suddenly switch to another game here? <laughs> no, Sammy. I just thought these little guys will help us playing tic-tac-toe. Check this out. A few touches with a hot iron. Careful touches, of course. Remember that, guys. 
and we'll get this cute little figurine, if I may say so. Oh, let me show you just one little trick, since only one crewmate won't be enough for the game. Awesome idea! Do you agree, guys? Then give Sue a thumbs up! By the way, Sammy, did you finish with the playing field? Almost. Give me a couple more minutes. Okay, then we have some time to make more characters for our game. Let's get to this. There used to be X's and O's, but now there will be crewmates and imposters! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I really like how he came out! Let's make him a couple of buddies using craft magic. Oh, excellent! Susan, the board is ready! And I'm ready to beat you in this game! We'll see about that, imposter Sam. Don't you even try to threaten me, Susan! What would you say about this? Take that! Oh no, did I lose? How could that happen? I demand a rematch! Take it easy, Sammy. It's not a big deal. Besides, we have one more cool craft to go. Hmm. What was that? Sue, are you gonna make a robot from perler beads? Um, no, but thank you. That's actually a great idea. We should put it into practice sometime. <laughs> But right now, I want to show you how to make your own colorful spinner. But why on earth do you have these nut rings here and a bear ring? Ah, these would be the main parts of our fidget toy. The ball bearing will be situated in the center. It actually is the main part of any spinner. And we'll put the nut rings in each of these petals. Let's call them that way. We'll make three of them. Sounds awesome! I can't wait to see the result! And while Sue's working, here are a few fun facts from Professor Samuel. A fidget spinner was considered one of the trending toys in 2017. However, a similar thing was invented back in 1993. It was so popular among children and teenagers that a number of schools even banned spinners from campuses. As for me, there are no bad toys unless they distract you from studying. By the way, we're done with the perler beads part. All we need to do now is to secure the metal parts in it using hot glue. You can ask an adult to help you at this stage, guys. Here we go. Remember to be very careful here, guys. Okay. By the way, we've already made fidget toys. You know where to find those videos, right? Here comes the last part. Done. Check out how it works, Sammy. Cool, right? <laughs> Just like all our crafts today. Let's check them out one more time. beat Susan in this game. <laughs> Sue! Sue! Oh, hey, Sammy, look! The internet's finally back. Shush! I'm busy, Sue. Well, all right. Hmm, what do we have here? I think it's time to get rid of this old stuff. Wait, what's this? Wow, this is my Tetris. I wonder how it got here. Ooh, what did you say? What's that? Some spaceship control console? <laughs> No, Sammy, it's an electronic game called Tetris. I used to play it when I was a kid. A game? Oh, Sue, please let me play! Not so fast. There are no batteries. It won't work without them. Perhaps you have a few? A moment. Here you are. Thanks. Great. Let's put it this way. And here. Done. Wait, switch it on. I'm trying. Hmm. It doesn't work. Probably too old and won't switch on anymore. Oh, Sue, I want to play Tetris so much. You know, I think we can make Tetris ourselves. Come on, I'll show you. Now that's interesting. To make this game, we need cardboard and glue. Do we also need batteries, Sue? <laughs> 
Sammy, no, we'll manage without them. Hmm. First, I need a 16 by 25 centimeters cardboard piece. I'm going to draw the design of our future Tetris with a pencil and a ruler. I think I forgot a pencil. Sammy, bring me a pencil, please. Which one do you prefer? Red, blue, or maybe green? <laughs> Thank you. A simple graphite pencil will do. Okay, I picked the blue one. Yes! Perfect. Thank you. So, we take the ruler and draw the frame. It must be 3 centimeters wide along the length and 2.5 centimeters wide along the width. Really? I searched Tetris on the internet. It's very cool. It also does like this. Bip, 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 and bam! <laughs> right. So, draw faster. I'm already ready to play. I'm trying, Sam. Look what we already have. A frame 3 centimeters wide teeth. Each tooth is 1 centimeter long. And this is 6.5 centimeters. Now we need to cut out the middle part. Here comes the clutter. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Guys, be careful with this step. Ask an adult to help you. Here, we made a frame like this. Now, we need to make three more pieces like that and glue them together. Whoa, Sue, that's not easy. Guys, ask your parents to help you. More fun together. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And hit the bell so you don't miss any new interesting videos. <laughs> Check this out. I think it's perfect. Let's glue this frame to another cardboard piece where we already drew some squares. I take some glue with a brush and spread it along the edges of the cardboard. There. Great. So, all the squares of Tetris are colorful. Yours aren't. No need to panic, Sammy. This will be the next step. Well, all right. There goes our beautiful frame. <laughs> now I'm going to write some numbers. These numbers will indicate the game level you are on. Ah, uh, Sue, get ready. Soon I'm going to reach the last level and leave you behind. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. And now comes the fun part. We're going to make colorful Tetris pieces. Susie, I'm simply obliged to help you with this. I already brought my paint. Sammy, no need for your paints. We'll use spray paints instead. Wow, Susie, so cool. Guys, while working with spray paints, make sure to protect your work surface. This is a real Tetris rainbow. Susie, I challenge you to a line duel. Ooh, challenge accepted. <laughs> All right, now I carefully line the squares on our colorful pieces. A little more and we'll fight for the title of the Tetris champion. <laughs> hey, Sue, catch. Wow, nice job, Sam. Let's see if the pieces fit. I never doubt you, Sam. All right, just one small piece is remaining. This small strip, it will indicate the level you're on. We need to glue them together. Sue, can you smell that? You can smell only glue. And I can smell victory. <laughs> right, perfect. Seems like everything is ready. It's time to fight. You've never played Tetris. It won't stop me, Sue. Okay, so let's start. I'll go first. Ready? A steady go! Oh, come on. Yeah, it fits great. You're no match for me, Sam. No, the first round is over. Phew, it's not that easy, but I managed to do it. It took just 30 seconds. <laughs> let's see how you deal with the second level. Let's roll. Ready, steady, Oh, this one is more difficult. Right, this one fits here. Perfect. This one here. Time's up, Sue. Oh, how did this happen? I was so close to winning. Oh, poor Sue. Make way for the professional. All right, ready, steady, go. <laughs> right, okay. This one right here. Yeah! Ooh. And stop. Sammy, just 15 seconds. How did you do that? That is a secret method, 
Susie. I mastered it while you were making our Tetris. Well, I must admit, you're a great Tetris player. Did anyone doubt? I'm sure nobody did. Guys, if you like our Tetris, give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We're going to make many more cool crafts. Bye-bye, guys.